In this video, I'll be telling you about Renesis Electronics' unique technology, Hardware Real-Time OS. Let's start by looking at some of the issues concerning embedded systems. I'm sure that when you're developing an embedded system, you have trouble achieving the target performance. Say, for example, the motor won't move smoothly, or motion accuracy is low, or your network is too slow. Problems with initial targets like these are all too common. Now, when you think about the cause of those problems, there are various issues, but undoubtedly one source of your problem lies with the real-time OS. Basically, your real-time OS has too much overhead. Overhead can degrade real-time performance and reduce operation speed, causing all sorts of problems. And so the question is, what can we do to solve these issues? I think the most common solutions are increasing CPU performance, moving some functions to hardware, and fine-tuning the software. However, increasing CPU performance leads to increased cost and power consumption. Partial hardware implementation also increases costs. Software tuning is a useful solution, but tuning often leads to problems in software development administration, like disorganized architecture or problems reusing the software. Now at this point, you're probably wondering, how does Renesis answer this question? The answer is Renesis has implemented their real-time OS in hardware. By implementing real-time OS in hardware, we can dramatically cut overhead. That leads to a vast improvement in real-time performance, as well as a huge increase in system operation speed. Renesis Original Hardware Real-Time OS is already included in many of our products. Hardware Real-Time OS is already included in the entire RIN32 series, as well as some of the RZT1 products. And all of our latest RZN1 releases also boast our Hardware Real-Time OS. So those are the basics of our Hardware Real-Time OS. For more information, please see the Renesis website. Now in the next video, I'll be talking about the high performance of the Hardware Real-Time OS and the original functions that make it possible. Thanks for listening.